You have one before that, okay. First, uh, we have General James Combs of the California Army National Guard and Colonel Pete Seitz, California State Military Con Reserve. They're gonna make a presentation at this time. General Combs. Mr. Chairman, uh, distinguished members of the Board of Supervisors, uh, friends, guests, and most importantly, the family members of uh, Supervisor Antonovich. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure actually to be here today, and I mean that sincerely because Supervisor Antonovich has been a comrade in arms. He has also been a great friend to those in military uniform. So I feel particularly honored that the Governor of California, as well as the Adjutant General, Major General William Wade II, has bestowed upon me the honor of coming down here today to recognize ex his extraordinary service. Myself and Colonel Pete Seitz, members of the State Defense Force, are particularly proud of what it represents. Shortly after 9-11, in the beginning months of 2003, we began the largest citizen soldier mobilization in this state's history since World War II. That mobilization would ultimately encompass over 28,000 citizen soldiers out of the state of California, the majority of which came from Los Angeles County, to be involved in a deployment for a global war on terrorism. When this occurred, it became obvious that with that many individuals leaving their communities and taking up arms, that our state defense force needed to be reinforced rapidly so that we would not drop the ball for domestic actions and would sustain the forces we had deployed worldwide. Well, it came as no surprise to me that at that moment in 2003, the supervisor, Mike Antonovich, would step forward and seek an appointment in the State Defense Force, which was granted at the grade of Lieutenant Colonel. As a Lieutenant Colonel in the logistics field, he would impact us, but what was interesting about this, what he brought his great wealth and his servant's heart to the business of the military, teaching, mentoring, guiding, and sustaining our forces here in the state of California so that we could accomplish all tasks that were tossed our direction. And as you might well imagine, here in the southern part of California, we have been mobilized over 19 times for state emergencies. Many of those have been stay, sustained by the State Defense Force, the State Military Reserve. So at this time, on behalf of the senior leadership of the uh, military department, I would like to bestow upon him the Legion of Merit. <laughs> Adjutant. Read the citation. The Military Department, State of California. This is to certify that by direction of the Governor of California, the California Legion of Merit Medal is presented to Lieutenant Colonel, California retired, Michael Antonovich, California State Military Reserve. For meritorious service from 1 January 2003 to 1 July 2008, while assigned as a logistics officer for the California State Military Reserve Installation Support Group, the Joint Forces Training Base, Los Alamitos, California. Despite his extremely busy schedule as a Los Angeles County Supervisor, Lieutenant Colonel Antonovich was able to volunteer his time and serve with distinction. During this period, Lieutenant Colonel Antonovich tirelessly worked to promote the positive image of the soldiers. His actions bring great credit upon himself, his unit, the California State Military Reserve, the California National Guard, and the State of California. Signed, Emory J. Hagan III, Brigadier General, California State Military Reserve, Commanding General. I wanted to say uh, thank you, General Combs and uh, Colonel Seitz. Uh, thank you very much for this high honor and to the governor of our state. Um, I first went into the military when I was 17 years old, right uh, out of high school, and I would say that was the best uh, program that I had to put my feet on the ground and to go forward in uh, my career because it did teach uh, one in individual responsibility and I know that many men and women out there uh, would have that opportunity if they would join the military. Uh, today the military has uh, expanded in that now they have scholarship programs, educational scholarship programs for college, universities, and it's a great opportunity for those individuals who really are in between as to what they want to choose as a career. General Combs will be retiring uh, uh, shortly, but he's going to spend time as a volunteer to help our veterans get back into the mainstream in employment and other opportunities coming down to spend time in Southern California to help our veterans. And that's the type of men and women that we have serving us today. So thank you very much, sir.